Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix your PlayStation 5 stuff calculating a remaining amount of time. So let's go ahead and jump the video right now. So if you're downloading a game on your PlayStation 5, press the PlayStation button and then go on over to download slash uploads. Then go to downloads and locate the game. Now press X on it and then go to the game and press X on it one more time and go to pause. Simply pause it and then wait a few seconds and then resume the download and see if this actually fixes this issue and it starts to download once again. Now, if it did just start downloading, what you could try is going to cancel and delete. Then go ahead and re-download the game. So let's find it under the game library. Then I'm gonna to go to my collection on top and then locate Destiny 2 once again and then just simply re-download it. Now, if this doesn't work, let's go on over to settings and then go on down to where it says network and choose this. Then go down to settings and go to the right and try disconnecting from the internet and then simply reconnecting and see if that restarts the download. Then we could try going to set up internet connection, then choose the currently connected internet so mine is wired LAN 1, press options on it, and go to advanced settings. And go to the DNS settings and go to manual. Change the primary DNS to 8.8.8.8 .8 and the secondary DNS to 8.8.4.4. Then go to the MTU settings and change this to manual and go to MTU 1472 and press OK and then reconnect to your internet. Also, if you do have different amount of Wi-Fi's on your home network. Let's say you have a 2.4 gigahertz connection and a five gigahertz connection. Go ahead and connect to the five gigahertz and just see if that would be a quicker download. So to see this, you can press options and then go on down to Wi-Fi frequency bands and you can switch between 2.4 gigahertz and five gigahertz under here. So try going to five gigahertz. This could be a quicker, more reliable connection for you. Then back out of here and go down to users and accounts. Then go down to other and go to the right and go to restores licenses. Restore licenses for downloaded content you can't use. So if it's not downloading, simply try restoring the licenses. And this may take like three or four minutes. And it says if you become unable to use content you downloaded from the PlayStation Store, there might be a problem with the licenses for the content. Try restoring the licenses. Now, if those tips did not work, press the PlayStation button, then go on over to power and then go to turn off PS5. And we're gonna launch our PlayStation 5 into the safe mode menu. So with our PlayStation 5 completely turned off, there's no light on the light bar here. Go ahead and locate the power button and then hold this down. You will hear one beep initially. Then about five to 10 seconds later, you will hear a second beep. Then go ahead and let go. And locate a USB cable and plug it into the front. And you will need to plug in your controller to operate the safe mode menu, just like this. And then press the PlayStation button when it's connected. And you can use the D-pad to navigate the menu now. Now go on down to option number five, clear cache and rebuild database. And then go down to option number two, rebuild the database. Now this says it may take a few hours to rebuild the database, but in my experience, it only takes like five minutes. So this will restart your PlayStation a few times, and then you should be good to go. If this video did indeed help you out, go ahead and leave a big thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech up videos coming up next on Your Six Studios.